Hello, it is Sunday, August 27th, 2023. I'm Chris Primo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means a big, uh, extra large grid, a jumbo sized grid. Probably, though, not as difficult as yesterday's tough Saturday themeless puzzle, and we're reintroducing the theme today, of course, on Sunday. Um, so this large jumbo, but probably not too difficult edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by William Arundel, Adam and Annette Noble, Emma Smith, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are keeping this channel going and sustaining this series, and I'm very grateful to them for that. So thank you so much to those five. Thank you to you if you're a patron. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel on Patreon. And if you'd like to consider becoming one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video, and there you will find all of the bonus videos available to patrons, as well as the uh, Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug for benefactors. Um, thank you again to everybody who does support the channel and keep it going. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel on YouTube. That's a big help. Please consider subscribing to the channel on YouTube. Just give that a click if you enjoy these videos and would like to see them regularly. And finally, there is the Dis uh, Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join via a link in the description field. And that is a nice, friendly chat community where people discuss these uh, crosswords each day, these videos, and other puzzles and crosswords. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. It is, as all Sunday puzzles are, titled. And today's title is Wannabe Startin' Something, which certainly is, is redolent of theme. It... Um, there's something about maybe we, I don't know, there's so many things going on here. We start words, we contract words, we can see, uh, or, uh, we, um, something about wannabe being at the beginning of phrases. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's so much, so much that could be, could be implied by this title. In any case, this suggestive title was uh, created, well, at least the puzzle it references, was created by Rich Katz. It's his second, I think, crossword for the second, I think, crossword for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see how we do with this jumbo Sunday grid. Noon in France would be midi for um, noon, midday. Uh, artwork that's hard to move. Um, artwork that's hard to move. A mural, a mural that's uh, painted directly onto a wall would be hard to move. When you'd have to move the wall. Thick soup noodle in Japanese cuisine that would be udon. And words beginning thirty-two assertions in Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham. I do not like them. I do not like them in a box and all the different things that I can't remember any good examples. But uh, I that must be said thirty-two times in Green Eggs and Ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. I guess is the is the kind of capper to that. This puzzle has 21 of them, uh, 21 rows, presumably. Looks like it does. Can we just quickly confirm that? It does. Okay, good. So <laughs> it's a giveaway there. Uh, depose, question mark, and write. And we see this um, in the italicized uh, type, which means it is a theme clue. So we probably won't have a revealer today. We'll just have a number of theme clues tied together with the italics, and we'll have to figure out what exactly they mean. What about in the cross? Blank Horribilis, 1992 per Queen Elizabeth. That was Queen Elizabeth II referred to that year as uh, her Annus Horribilis, or terrible year. Okay, depose. Right, we looked at that. Put down. Insult, insulted. Put down could be present or past tense, so you you know, yesterday you you uh, really put that person down, you insulted them. Hash ingredients informally uh, taters. So hash could, could be a, it's often sort of a diner breakfast dish served with uh, pan fried potatoes and potatoes can be referred to as taters informally. So there you go. Taters, you know, you boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Blockaded militarily. Sieged, you could siege a town, you could blockade it. Um, you know, have a sustained attack that prevents escape. When I'm in love in a 1992 hit by The Cure. Uh, Friday, I'm in love goes the song. That's a great song. Okay, Dis disreputable sorts are lowlifes. So we're getting a bit of 
we have more than half of what's going on in this theme answer. Depose, down, question mark. I mean, if you depose somebody, you sort of oust them. You, what is, what are we looking for here? Down, downward, sort of, I don't know if you're deposed, you have kind of downward career movement. Uh, well, let's see, record holder. Um, why do I not see what that is? What about this one? Topped as Tupperware, lidded. You could put a lid on Tupperware, which is a brand of plastic, um, you know, food containers. Kitchenware, uh, car key button, uh, lock, I suppose, uh, on a sort of electronic key fob. Not up to much. If you're not up to much, you might be idle. And then like this clues number, it's an odd number, right? So we have another one of these that is sort of describing the uh, an element of the crossword itself, like our row count. Uh, bumbler could be a clod. You could be a real clod, a real bumbler, a real clumsy person. And a pelvic exercise, uh, Kegel. That's a that's a pelvic exercise. So now we have. I'm curious about this. Oh, downward dog. It's a yoga position. Right? Depose. Downward dog. D. Depose. Oh, the, the pose? In other words, sort of depose said in a, with a kind of dialect or a bit of a, you know, a bit of a sort of ac particular accent. De depose. D. Oh, D. It's a depose. It's a pose that starts with D's. Maybe that's what it is. Downward dog. Wanna be starting something. Right. Okay. So I guess the starting something, starting something is referring to uh, this kind of particular pronunciation because we, because depose, is that what that's getting at? But then also it's the letter D feels that there are too many things here for me to really get cleanly understand exactly what this is describing or exactly what the clue, sorry, the theme is um, comprises. So let's see. D pose, downward dog. I mean, that that works to me. Okay, we'll just, I, I don't know. We'll just, I, I, I might be missing some element of this theme. We'll have to keep solving it and see, see if we can make some more connections. Occurs to, with, on. Uh, if something occurs to you, it, I don't know, why can't I see that? Hmm, it feels it should be obvious. The Y of JPY, that's the abbreviation for the Japanese currency, the yen, so the Japanese yen, JPY. Some haunted house decorations, webs, cobwebs, ah, dawns on you, there we go. Uh, I feel as though that was right on the tip of my, my tongue and I just couldn't get it out. Megagram, a ton. Um, and then, that's funny, megagram, I don't know that I've heard that that way of referring to a ton before, metric ton in this case. Um, record holder, re oh, registrar, right? Someone who um, manages registration, the records of people who have enrolled, for instance. So the registrar could be literally the record holder. That's clever. Canine calls could be ARFs, dog barks. Battle of Britain group would be the RAF, the Royal Air Force um, in the Second World War. And then neighbor of... Georgia is Armenia. Armenia neighbors Georgia. That sounds right to me. Okay. Picture of good health, one hopes. Picture of good health. One. Oh, an MRI. I see. So, right. You, one hopes that after having an MRI taken up, magnetic resonance imagery scan, they hope that it will produce a picture, a visual picture of your body demonstrating good health. Omission. Okay, so is this is this O mission? A mission that starts with O? Official business or something? Doesn't fit. But I think that's I think that's on the right track based on this D pose. Okay. Frigidity, coolness, iciness, iciness fits. Oops. Good times and happy days, e.g. Those are um, sitcoms. Those are U.S. sitcoms. Info that's, oh, I don't even know that I've ever seen Good Times. No, I have. Never mind. I was mixing up with something else. Info that's often only partly revealed. Abbreviation. Info that's only partly revealed. Abbreviation. 
Um, I don't know. This answer is only partly revealed because I can't seem to answer it. Info that's only partly revealed. I don't know why I can't see that. Kind of nerve that runs through the leg. The sciatic nerve? Something like that. I, I could have this wrong in some way, but I think it's something like that. Costa Ricans informally. Not sure. Sammy with 31 Oscar nominations. Khan? But then again, in a text, on the other hand, you might say, blank marker, a mile marker in a marathon, say, a, a, a foot race, few and far between, scarce. Okay, so at least half of sciatic is looking decent. Unconventional protagonist, a non-hero, I suppose. You don't hear the phrase non-hero used very often, but you can get it. Uh, what was this again? Info. The, oh, I see what it is. Info that's often only partly revealed. This, right. Okay. This is a very specific clue. So, um, very specific to the U S cultural context. I mean, so your social security number is a unique, what is it? Nine digit, I think, I, um, identifier that, uh, is used in, in, in the U S for various purposes and applications and things often. And often you will just see bits of it to indicate that Ah, uh, right. You recognize this. It's yours, but we're not showing the whole thing for privacy reasons. Okay. In title, N, N title, presumably this is. N title. Looks like Nicholas, maybe? Ticos. Oh, that sounds, that sounds right for Costa Ricans. Uh, and then, Con, oh, so yeah, Khan. Okay. So, right. It is, it is Nicholas. I still don't know what it means, but <laughs> N title. Nicholas. Nickleby is the title of a novel. Is it? Uh, I think it's L-E. There's a pub actually just down the road from me called Nicholas Nickleby, London. Um, pronto. Soon. I'm, I'm not confident about, about the spelling of Nicholas Nickleby. I can't remember if it's L-E or E-L. Uh, it's the, the book and character, but yeah, I just can't think. I can't think. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. Sea sickness. Uh, I'm not sure. Protagonist of a touching story. Of a touching story. So protagonist of a story in which something or someone touches something or someone. That's very vague. Uh, it'll probably be obvious in retrospect. Rough up to, I don't know, haze someone or something maybe. Rom, who won the 2023 Masters, this is golf, presumably, and then unsurprisingly, I do not know. News agency initials could be UPI, United Press International, I think it is. Trees whose berries flavor gin. Um, oh, uh, oh, this is ridiculous that I can't think what this is. Um, I've, I've bought, I've cooked with these berries before. What? Juniper. There we go. Oh, is it junipero? Is that no trees pl plural junipers? There we go. Um, yeah. Okay. Boy, I don't know why that was so elusive, but yes, that gives gin its distinctive flavor. Uh, juniper berries. Uh, Jan or Jan Rom? I'm not sure. Classic brand of candy wafers. Necco wafers are a candy wafer brand. Finish coloring as a tattoo. Ink in. Ink in, ink on, ink up, ink. I think again sounds the most plausible to me. Yeah, it is because Snoopy group. So not you'd think Snoopy maybe the the character the Beagle character from the comic strip Peanuts, but no, it is. I think people who snoop who are spies who might be employed by the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency in the U.S. Versailles for one is a palace in 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 France, not far from Paris. Um, former. Um, royal residence and clearing is an open area maybe in a wood a forest or something like that so john john Ra, okay good good thing i didn't write in yawn so here we go nicholas nickleby this was my first thought that it was an uh, that it was le and before once is air so a sort of archaic way to say before or you know used in poetry and things okay seasickness is so we have this oh right seasickness so we're starting with a c and 
So I don't think this, I still don't think I understand what the start in something is. I thought maybe it was, it was depose as in the pose, but because that kind of fits with starting something, but I don't, none of the rest of, I don't think any of the rest of these do. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the apostrophes here. Hmm. Yeah. Do not know what's going on there. Okay. Well, anyway, maybe it'll be clear eventually, or maybe not. Maybe I'll finish the puzzle and never have figured that bit out. Seasickness. Uh, right. So sickness that begins with the letter C. Um, I don't know. Sorry, I can't seem to see that immediately. Protagonist of a touching story, rough up, got off the fence, decided, opted, made a choice. Pioneer in psychedelics. Pioneer in psychedelics. Um, oh. Is this... Uh, a guy from the 60s. I, I, I'm completely blank on this. I, I don't know. I'm curious to see if I'll recognize the name, if it's what I'm trying to think of or not. Sport with two diacritics in its name. Oh, Epe, um, which has, um, you know, the kind of di diagonal slanted accent marks. Uh, There's diacritical marks. Uh, pioneer in psychedelics, like flourless cake. Um, vegan, I suppose. Is that, is that right? Seasickness. I don't know why that would be. I don't know why flour would have anything to do with being vegan. Um, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Catch some rays. Tan to tan. So flourless cake. Dense. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. It, it, flourless cake is, is dense. Okay. That looks right. So seasickness, the sickness is Common cold, right. Uh, Neko wafers, not Neka. Sorry about that. Neko wafers. Okay, you can see I do not consume Neko wafers frequently enough for that to have been right in my brain. So, oh, Midas is the protagonist of a touching story. Right, of course, because uh, the mythological king Midas had the golden touch. Um, well, he, he, you know, sort of wished for it and then regretted his wish. Okay, Russian legislature is the Duma. Russian, Russian legislative body. And to rough up is to maul, to maul somebody is to rough them up. Speck is a, is a moat, a little speck of dust, a moat of dust, perhaps. And a popular typeface is Ariel, which I don't know, may well be the one in which this crossword is set. I'm not completely certain off the top of my head, but it looks basically similar to it. So, oh, this is official something. So the O mission is Official orders, right? Those that's your mission. Your official orders is a mission. Okay, there we go. Pioneer in psychedelics. Uh, maybe I don't know what this is. I don't know this. Oh no, it is. It is Timothy Leary. Leary, that is who I was trying to think of. <laughs> okay, boy, I'm losing my losing losing it here. Okay, so there we go. And then craft project with rubber bands is tie dye. Oh right, I've never actually done this, but that's the way that you can sort of. You know, you, you uh, kind of rubber band a t-shirt or something up um, to scrunch it and then create and then dye it and create those distinctive radial patterns. Wait, a wait could be a delay. Hanukkah pancake could be a latka, potato pancake. And the common site for a scrape could be knee. You could scrape your knee playing on the playground or something, I guess. Scraped out. If you scrape out a living, you eke out a living. 19th century adversary of an 18 down. So... 18 down, a reb, um, and a yank. So, oh, sorry, did I say eight, 19th? I don't remember if I said, if I read the century correctly. Anyway, 19th century adversary. So this is referring to the uh, U.S. Civil War. So the rebels and the Yankees, the Southerners and the Northerners, Confederates and Union. Uh, T-ball game is right. So T, so a ball game that begins with T, I think is what this is looking for. Second picture in an alphabet book, maybe. So an alphabet book, maybe there's one uh, animal or object for each letter, and the second letter is B, so that would be the animal, the B. T-ball game. Um, ball game. Starting with T. Table tennis. There we go. Okay. 
uh, rang, uh, if a bell rang, it tolled perhaps. Could be peeled actually as well. I think toll is more likely, but I guess it doesn't need to be. Blue, Charlie, Delta, or Echo in Jurassic War World. I've never actually seen Jurassic World, but I'm going to guess that these are raptors just because that's a common dinosaur in Jurassic Park films and they were featured, I think, in the trailer for this. So <laughs> that's my guess. And peeled the uh, velociraptor dinosaurs. It might be pulled in a secret signal. You pull, you sort of pull your ear. I think that's probably what this is. You could imagine a kind of spy context, maybe CIA snoops or pulling their ears in secret signals. A pair could be dual or what is this? Lay one's card on the table. Yes, that's deal. So deal cards, lay them on the table. So pair, is it, maybe it is dual. Or it could be a dyad, a pair. So I mean, ah, that's, that's a bit closer of a match because pair as a noun, a pair would be a dyad or actually probably dyad. Um, befriend. So a friend starting with B. Best, uh, I'm not sure. Befriend. Hell of a guy. The devil, maybe? There we go, fairly simple pun, and that's indicated with the question mark, the pun indicator at the end of the clue. Phil Dunphy of Modern Family for one. Um, I'm going to guess, I think this is a safe guess probably, he must be the father, the TV dad. There we go. So Thomas Paine and Thomas Jefferson for two, um, well, they were important figures in the founding of the United States. They, uh, for two, so this will be plural, because, yes, because this happened, since this happened, there we go. Singer John with the 1992 hit Just Another Day. Who don't think I recognize that, sorry. AA nudge nudge. I'm not quite seeing it immediately. These look like maybe gettable answers though. Chew. You could gnaw at something, chew it maybe. Last minute cry at a surprise party. Hide. Everybody everyone is instructed to hide before the um the honoree arrives. Title that shares etymology with Kaiser. So Tsar, the the, the Russian Tsar shares its etymology with the Kaiser, which um you know, Kaiser, Caesar, Tsar, those are all those are all basically the same word. Uh, singer John with the 1992 hit Just Another Day. I still don't think I know who this is. Ensada? That sort of sounds vaguely familiar, but I, I couldn't tell you anything about that person if that's the answer. Pipe down. A sewer is a pipe that's down underneath the streets. So there we go. And there's our there's our question mark pun indicator for, for down being used in that way. Their sales spike in December. Uh, it'll be something presumably around winter or Christmas, but not sure. Oh, fir trees. For, yeah, okay. So fir tree sales spike in December. Probably, I mean, it's probably one of those cases where it's, you know, 95% of fir trees or something are sold in December, something incredibly unbalanced like that. A, I guess some in, some in November as well, maybe. A, A, nudge, nudge. All right. Okay, I see. So you just sort of, yeah. Hey, hey, all right, all right, that kind of thing. All right, puts forward. So my guess here was wrong. Let's see. Singer John. John. I don't know. I kind of, this, uh, I'm sort of wobbling between thinking this looks familiar and thinking I just don't know, which is, isn't very helpful at all. I, I'm not sure. So Thomas Paine and Thomas Jefferson for two are, not sure why I'm not getting that either. I wonder if I have something wrong around here. Probably not. I'm just, just missing things. Unintended signal, a tell. You could be, someone could have a tell you're playing poker or something and you, you, you see that they have some physical tick that gives them away. Idly amuses oneself. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm not sure what that is either. G whiz. So a whiz that starts with G. This looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Ending with I like that. Ultimately be fine. Uh, let's 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 find something else to to work on. Big blank props. Big ups. You give someone props. You give them kudos. Big ups. Con you know, congratulations or or uh, compliments. Funny sort could be a cut up, a real cut up. You don't hear that much these days. I think I mainly know it from things you know, older cartoons and things like that. But but there we have it. Surface alternative. And, oh, an iPad, because there's a Microsoft, you know, tablet product called the Surface, so the iPad would be a competitor. Start of some praise. Hmm, not sure. What about this? Befriend. Best, oh, it was best something. Best buddy could be your be friend. Miracle Workers Cable Channel. Uh, this could be basically anything. Oh, no, cable channel, it says. Never mind. I was thinking of things like ABC and NBC and CBS, but it's not, it's another, none of, none of those because each of those is a um, broadcast network. So cable channel, TBS maybe, or, I don't know, let's see if that helps. Start of some praise. Oh, it is. At a boy or at a girl, you could say. Um, and then Miracle Workers Cable Channel. So maybe it is TBS. Uh, Never heard of it, but it could be. I mean, we'll never, well, I've heard of TBS. I haven't heard of Miracle Workers. Door latch, a hasp, a latch on a door. So it's, it's, if, if this didn't happen to the slightest degree, it didn't happen at all. And like most Iranians would be uh, Shia Muslims, as opposed to Sunni, presumably in this case. And then suffer, uh, if you suffer, you ail. And then the thrill of victory and the blank of defeat, wide world of sports catchphrase. Um, looks like it could be agony to me, with start with five letters starting with an A, and the opposite of the thrill of victory could be the agony of defeat. I think. Let's see if that if that helps. Designer Gucci, Aldo Gucci. There we go, of the you know famous Gucci fashion house, um, who's also portrayed in that in that film, The House of Gucci, which I, I enjoyed. I thought it was fun. Certain spa treatment could be a peel, a sort of facial peel, that kind of thing. And Ali, who retired undefeated, uh, is this uh, I, I know I know this name, but I just can't is it is this Muhammad Ali's daughter? What about this? Home of India's National Museum, Delhi, presumably. 200 in the Indianapolis 500, 200 laps, I suppose. Uh, and then uh, it's it's absolutely infuriating that I can't can't get this name. Child of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Arch Archie, what's the name of their son, I believe. Lena, Lena Ali. Why is that not immediately familiar to me? I know I've encountered this this person countless times. Um, it's bizarre that it's not triggering it instant familiarity. Speechless with shock. If you're Speechless with shock, you're a gape maybe or a gasp. I think a gape may, signals to me speechless a bit more than a gasp does because a gasp, at least you're gasping. It's not quite a word, but it's closer to one. Blank twist scientist hit children's book. No idea. Is this a name, I guess? Amy twist maybe in three letters? I'm trying to think of what a three letter name could be. Um, starting with an A, of course. Word with station or silence? No, it's. I don't think it's Amy because this. I think radio station or radio silence. Um, Ada twist maybe. Of course, in Spanish. And what was this? Oh, we haven't looked at this yet. Oh, it's Galileo Galilei. We have looked at it, but I didn't have any ideas yet. G whiz. So a whiz. Uh, Galileo. Uh, Galilei. There we go. And that's why it ends with that e i. That explains it because it's a name. It's a proper noun. So there we go. Um, Galileo, the famous scientist. So, um, yeah, so there's, I don't remember if I, I think I pointed it out with downward dog maybe, but I don't know that I've been pointing out that, of course, these, these aren't, this isn't just a D pose or an N title. We have two of each of the letters um, requested in each of these. So Nicholas Nickleby, official order. 
um, best buddy. Galileo Galilei, essentially, uh, um, etc. Anyway, let's move on. Of course, in Spanish, um, oh, is it Claro? Um, or Clara? Again, I don't know my genders in Spanish. Um, also, maybe that's not the answer because this doesn't look right. Pea shooter. Uh, maybe this is a gasp. Some unnamed addresses. Some unnamed addresses. Not sure what's, what's what we're looking for there. Ultimately be fine. Ancient theaters are Odia, like an Odeon, which is um, also the name of a um, cinema chain here in the UK. Politician with a famous like button, Ike, who had um, uh, in his, I, I guess it was his presidential campaign, Dwight D. Eisenhower had buttons that said, I like Ike, um, as part of a kind of campaign gimmick, I guess. So idly amuses oneself, ki uh, kills time. Oh, right. So this wasn't all right after all of that. It's, am I right? Oh, I see. That that fits more with this sort of nudge, nudge, you know, kind of good-naturedly conspiratorial thing where you're saying, am I right? Am I right? Eh, eh? Okay, I see. That's what it was. So, ah, okay. This is deists. Thomas Paine and Thomas Jefferson for two. Deists, yes. So th this was um, a, uh, a kind of religious outlook that was... Um, I guess more sort of skeptical of organized religion, essentially. Okay, Singer John with the 1992 hit Just Another Day. I still feel as though this should be familiar to me, and it kind of is, but I, I just can't, I just can't actually place it. Cicada puts forward. Oh, it is that. Okay, posits. Right, I mean, it probably should have been more obvious, but anyway. Puts forward, you put forward a position, you posit a position or an argument. Way to get ahead in life. Life being capitalized makes me think potentially this is the board game. There's a board game called The Game of Life. I don't really know it, but I mean, I know of it. So what would what do I think would help you get ahead in it? I don't know. Do you spin something in that game? I don't think so. I think it's a dice rolling game. I don't know. Part of some rapper's names. Lil, there we go. Like Lil Kim, Lil Nas X, etc. Ultimately be fine. End well. Oh, right. It will ultimately be fine. It will end well. All's well uh, that ends well, as they say. Laura of Big Little Lies. Laura Dern was in that. I really enjoyed that show. December door decor could be a wreath. Um, oh, right. That's sort of a pair to our fir tree. Maybe you'd buy those at the same time. Decorate again. Re-adorn, maybe? Way to get ahead in life. It does spin something. Maybe there is, maybe it is a game, maybe it is a game where you spin something and that's what, I don't know, spinner. I mean, that must be it. The Godfather brother, uh, Fredo, um, one of the, uh, one of the, one of the, um, Corleone siblings in The Godfather. Okay. Like tires, treaded, tires have tread, of course, to help their grip. Egad. I'm not sure. And QB stat touchdowns, I guess. That that looks right to me, TDs. EGAD. Oh, horrors. Right. Okay. So we have a somewhat sort of quaint person here saying, ah, oh, horrors, EGAD. Kind of quaint oaths. And then farm-related prefix, agro for agricultural. agricultural. And then animal on a road sign would be a deer. Maybe there's a deer crossing. So watch out. And then famous name in neo Marxism. Sorry, did I say famous first name in neo-Marxism? Oh, right. So when you see first name, this is used in a, in a sort of various, I don't know, slightly unpredictable ways in the New York Times crossword. It often means, well, so first name means a famous name. It pretty much always means that, someone who's famous. But sometimes it also actually means you want their first name, literally their given name, their first name. But I think in this case, maybe it doesn't. Uh, I'm wondering if it's referring to Ilhan Omar, the congressperson. Um, but I'm wondering, it's, it is usual, the reason I'm kind of wondering is because it is actually usually the case that first name in the New York Times crossword does actually mean the given name. So I could, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. 
Um, I don't know. Let's just this. I mean, it's going to be that anyway, because this clearly looks like the word management. So M bosses, M bosses, middle, middle management. There we go. There we go. Okay. Keep blank, keep mum, keep quiet, silent, uh, blank moment in a moment, maybe savage of savage love. Oh, wow. That's, I haven't thought about this in a long time. So that's Dan, Dan Savage, who, I don't know, back in the nineties, maybe, maybe still, I don't actually know, but wrote the advice column, savage love. Uh, name of two Spice Girls. <laughs> I think I learned this from the crossword that there are two Spice Girls named Mel. I think I knew, I at least knew there was one previously, but I now know there were two. Throw in, to add something, to throw it in, without let up. Un... Something happened without let up. It was unabated. There we go. This looks like, I was going to say man-child, but I don't think it is that because <laughs> exponentially doesn't mean man-child, does it? If something's exponentially, it's manifold, right? So it, it, it's increasing exponentially. It's happening at an incredibly quickly increasing rate. And, and if something is manifold, it's happening in great numbers. So, or it exists in great numbers. Uh, deceive. You could deceive someone by lying to them. And rice dish simmered in broth is, uh, could be rice, oh, an example of such a dish could be uh, rice pilaf or pilau, as it is in some places like here. Last installment of The Godfather for now. Godfather Part 3, I suppose. Yes, there could end up being more. It seems a bit unlikely at this point, but I, I suppose saying that these days would be quite foolish. They'll probably computer generate all of them in another 10 years. Came and went unnoticed. Uh, maybe I have something wrong here. Is What do I... Un... What is this? Came and went unnoticed. Oh, many fold. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. I mean, that works as well. In other words, you know, you could say this happened threefold, fourfold, fivefold, or many fold. There we go, which is, you know, it's basically the same. Essentially, it's the same word as manifold, but um, maybe I'm making that up. Am I, am I combining many fold and manifest? I don't know. I could have sworn there was a, there was a word manifold. Anyway. Well, there is, but but that I mean that means this particular thing as well. Anyway, we'll keep going. Came and went unnoticed. Slid by. Slid by. Came and went, came and went unnoticed. Some unnamed address sees. My first thought when I saw this was because I thought this was Claro, that uh, this could be Sirs, but I wasn't quite sure what it... Oh, I guess what it means is you could simply address a letter to Sir because you don't necessarily know who it's going to be. You're simply sending it to, you know, unofficial at the you know, the, the department or whatever you're trying to contact. Okay, now I get it. So this is Claro. I think my thought was correct on that for sort of clearly, essentially. And then Pea Shooter is a, oh, right. Or oh, I forgot about the theme. Uh, a Someone who shoots, that starts with Ps. So a pool player, someone who shoots pool, uh, billiards. And then there we have it. Well, there we go. I would say that wasn't a... <laughs> Wasn't a particularly difficult crossword, but it took me ages, didn't it? It took me an incredibly long time. Um, but so it goes sometimes. I mean, it is the Sunday crossword, and that is often how it goes. So a very straightforward theme. I still don't think I quite understand what's going on with the wannabe starting something. Why is it written like that? I'm sure this isn't, this, this is, I suspect this is just absolutely overwhelmingly obvious. And I'm just, for some reason, I'm just not seeing that bit of it. But, but anyway, we, we see how the actual mechanic of the theme works, which is that we have these clues that give us phonetically a letter of the alphabet and then the actual clue itself. And then we must start both words in the clue with that letter. So our end title is Nicholas Nickleby, uh, the title of a novel. Um, our C sickness is the common cold. Our O mission is our official orders. Um, our B friend is our best buddy. Oops, did I miss one? No. Our G whiz is Galileo Galilee. Our P shooter is a pool player. Our M bosses are the middle management layer. And boy, there's a, we have quite a few, don't we, actually? Our D pose, which was the first one that we encountered, was downward dog. 
the yoga pose. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? There might just be one other down. And finally, our T ball game is table tennis. And I think that's it. So quite a few, um, quite a few theme clues today. And indeed, even a couple downs, not just a crosses. So there we have it. That was wanna be starting something. I'm sure many of you will tell me what I'm, what I'm missing about the title when uh, in the comments. And because this was such a long solve, I'm going to, um, I'm going to skip the clues from yesterday's puzzle today. But I will be back, of course, tomorrow with a Monday crossword. Should be a very gentle and much quicker solve than this one was. So it goes on Monday. I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm -hmm.